Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. I know nowadays every student wants a job in product based companies and that's good. Nobody wants to work in service based companies. I mean almost every student are preparing for those product based companies or uh, you know they generally see those videos how to get into these product based companies, how to prepare for product based companies, how to get a 50 LPA job and this this this. And everybody thinks that yeah like the package for service based companies are like 3 to 3.6 lp something like this so they don't want to want to settle down for this salary package they want higher package they are aiming higher and it's not wrong it's very good if you are preparing for product based companies and if you get a job in those companies it's very good but i am going to tell you in this video why you should prepare for service based companies because many students are like average students or not even average students and when they look that you know the the trend is like preparing for product based companies so they also aim for those companies and they prepare for those companies and once like sometimes they uh, get failed in the interview or something like this then they feel demotivated so it's not like that product based companies is everything if you don't get a job in those companies i mean it's over no you can prepare for these companies also why you should prepare for service based companies and how to prepare the complete road map what to study what generally they ask and from where you uh, get to know that the roles in these companies and how to apply in these companies as well as a uh, few tips also important tips i'll tell you in this video that you know will definitely uh, help you to stand out from the crowd so stay tuned and watch the video till the end why you should prepare first for service based companies see many students think that the salaries they are having low package low package basically like in the range of like 3 and 3.6 or 2.7 something like this but yeah that's true but there are some roles in these companies also service based companies like tcs in process they are offering a, a package of 8 to 9 lakhs starting package for a fresher like power programmer or many roles are there so you can apply for those roles you can like uh, prepare for those roles also if there is a salary issue fine so it's not that issue the salary is not a issue nowadays in service based companies the thing is your priority should be to get your first job not about the package if you will increase your value if you will in increase your worth with time then definitely your package would be more don't worry at least start with something second thing is selection rate in this these companies are high as compared to product based companies we know because the questions the level of questions asked in product based companies the coding interview rounds and the number of rounds the process is tough as compared to service based companies in these coding rounds they don't ask much level uh, you know much higher level questions like dsa questions or coding questions they want basic knowledge that's why and generally they hire in mass so selection rate is high if you prepare for these companies uh, you know uh, your chances of sele uh, selected selection would be more and once you have your uh, job offer first job or like maybe second job or any job offer in your hand then you will feel more confident and it will definitely help you to prepare so prepare for your next interview yes okay now how you can prepare for these companies see whatever first whatever coding and dsa basically they ask that is not that much tough you have to prepare basic to intermediate you don't have to go in advanced topics like advanced dp problems or uh, uh, th those advanced uh, topics in dsa segment trees or those these questions they will not ask almost 90% of the service based companies th the coding round is not that much tough you have to prepare simply like arrays linguist stack queue hash map searching sorting in arrays now binary search tree bt insertion deletion and those in order pre order post order not not in deep you have to go just the basic to intermediate knowledge or the questions you have to solve in on these basic recursion knowledge and backtracking almost 90% of the service based companies question round or coding round would be based on these 10% they ask like some high level questions that is like dp but basic dp questions not advanced dp questions graphs Uh, bfs tfs depth first search breadth first search and uh, shortest distance finding diastro algorithm that is the famous one yeah one more thing strings also strings are also an important part go for the frequently asked questions like to check strings are palindrome or not 
blue strings are anagram or not you have to check these frequently asked questions just go for these question and that's it now while preparing for these i just want to give you some extra tips you have to focus on how to approach a problem not just on the solution first thing second thing keep in mind time and space complexity of your solution these two things are crucial while you are trying to solve problems on these topics okay now there are some frequently asked pattern questions like sliding window and two pointer approach and uh, basic like recursion with backtracking uh, sorry backtracking with recursion so these three pattern or these three things are important understand the core concept and prioritize quality over quantity just solve 100 questions 60 to 100 questions quality questions on these topics basic to intermediate level and you are done it needs only like 2 to 3 months to prepare for these companies that's it and you can easily crack any interview any interview of service based companies and apart from this those uh, basic computer science fundamental subject like uh, we have operating system so in this memory management and process management next we have dbms so in dbms we have like normalization joins and sql queries basic sql queries next subject we have is networking in this we have like network like uh, osi model and those protocols basics then we have basic idea of software like sdlc and you are all set but apart from this what is more important here is aptitude also the first round is of aptitude for dsa you can go to my channel there is a complete playlist of dsa and in dbms also i have discussed um, normalization that you know that is important for interview you can go to my dbms playlist and you can check okay now yeah aptitude is also important one so basically three parts are there in aptitude first is quantitative aptitude so uh, in quantitative number system ratio and proportion permutation combination profit and loss time and work time speed and distance percentages and these are few topics that you can focus on in reasoning you have puzzles syllogism direction coding decoding question di series data interpretation patterns and series uh, completion type of questions in verbal also like vocab antonyms synonyms grammar also sentence completion active and passive voice and one question would be on like uh, one or maybe more question would be on reading comprehension like one paragraph would be given and then you have to read that paragraph and you have to answer the questions given okay so please uh, you have to focus on apt part also if you are preparing for these companies this is also important this will going to play a crucial role in your selection so you can go for the book like rs Agar agarwal for reasoning or there are so many online plat platform there you can practice these questions this will need only hardly one month or one to two month hardly two months if you pr practice only for one to two hours daily if you practice for three to four hours only one month is sufficient to cover the important topics and go for this aptitude because they ask only bas basic to intermediate uh, level questions not very tough questions and uh, basically they'll give you like time constraint would be there in many questions uh, uh, many companies service based companies like tcs info wipro they ask straight forward questions but there would be time constraint so that is important but one tip for you is focus on accuracy while solving these questions rather than speed because sometimes students think that okay time is uh, you know the, the clock is ticking so in hurry they just solve the problem in a wrong way and just sometimes stick a wrong answer so basically focus on the accuracy rather than speed speed comes later this thing you need to remember now from where you get these kind of uh, openings and from where you can apply so there is you know a great chance you have a great chance because uh, many service based companies run their own hiring program like tcs you have or you must have heard about tcs code beta tcs nqt so through that program the top scorer the students who are top scorer they call those students directly for the interview so you should apply for these programs every almost every company run their own hiring program like infosys is also hiring their program infosys uh, certification program infosys hack with infi 
same wipro is also having its own program like wipro elite national talent hunt wipro uh, turbo hiring and accenture tq so almost every like good company service based companies is having its own hiring program so you just keep track of this thing and apply in this program and go for this and they will directly call you if you are a good student if you are a top performer in those programs they will directly call you for the interview you don't have to uh, try to off campus and you don't have to run anywhere behind these jobs and all you don't have to apply anywhere you will directly get the job okay so through these programs you can get you can apply or there are so many program there are so many like uh, websites also like on nokri.com you just search and there you will get many opportunities one more like a good way to get these kind of opportunities is what through linkedin so don't underestimate the power of linkedin i have told you in many of my previous video also focus on your linkedin profile if you are following the right people on linkedin if you are connected with the right people you will get job updates automatically in your job feed only you don't have to search so basically what you can do just go to linkedin search there like suppose you are interested in uh, infosys so infosys recruiter so there would be the list just connect with the people and they will like they will uh, post on their profile like in this you can see and if there is a job opening you will get directly in the, your job feed okay this is the opening in this infosys or accenture or tcs or any company and you can directly apply so establish your connection on linkedin linkedin also with the people like professionals or hrs or recruiters in which company you are interested make connection with the people of those uh, company so i guess uh, this video would be really helpful for you guys please let me know in comment section if this kind of videos are helpful for you so that's it for this uh, this lecture now i'll see you in the next video till then bye take care